Today we're talking about the settings that I use for my Lumix S5 Mark II X. If you guys have been watching my Lumix S5 Mark II X videos up to this point, you may already know that that camera was on loan from Lumix themselves. But this past week, I did receive my own personal copy of the Lumix S5 Mark II X. And so I thought it'd be a good exercise to show you guys some of the settings that I changed right away in the camera before I even started filming with the camera. And so that's what we're gonna talk about here today. And so I'm gonna go ahead and dive right into the video because there are quite a few settings Settings. So the first thing that I wanted to change is some exposure settings. With that, the first thing that I'm changing is the exposure mode. I'm immediately changing this to manual mode. If you're taking photography or videography or filmmaking seriously, I would absolutely encourage to use manual mode as much as possible. Beyond that, I am changing the camera from shutter speed to shutter angle and placing it at 180 degrees. Now, one thing that I've done with the 2X so that I don't accidentally change my shutter angle is I am using my operation lock menu and I'm locking down the dials and actually assigning the operation lock to a function button, more specifically the front function button that's on the camera. Now talking about exposure, I for the most part do keep the camera in one of its base ISO levels and that is going to be either 640 ISO or 4000 ISO and so that is something that I'm doing as well is setting my ISO level and not really changing it and more so adjusting my exposure with ND filters or potentially the aperture of the lens. And so moving on to record quality, a lot of the times I'm either shooting in 6K open gate or 4K DCI, specifically the all intra codec. Now to do this, you'll have to put the file format in .mov. And then at that point, you do have the 6K open gate, long GOP option, as well as the 4K DCI all intro. Now going along with the idea of record quality, I am recording in vlog. And so with that, I am using the vlog view assist and I'm actually using my own custom LUT. Now with the S5 Mark II X, the only other setting that I've done differently than other Lumix cameras is with the autofocus settings. I'll be honest, I haven't really messed around a ton with the autofocus settings. Just know that I'm using the human detection option as well as mode two. Now, some of the other settings I'm gonna mention are more miscellaneous settings, things that will help with composition and correct exposure as well. Things like I am gonna use my grid lines to compose my shot using rule of thirds. With that in mind, I am setting frame markers. Now I do primarily deliver, especially for YouTube in a two to one aspect ratio. Now, the only time I might change that is if I'm recording for vertical format, especially if I'm using 6K open gate, then I'll use the nine by 16 aspect ratio frame marker. Now talking about composition and getting your shot exactly where you want it to be. A couple of settings I'm using that I'm also assigning to function buttons is things like focus peaking. This will help you tremendously if you're using manual focus lenses. If I need to manually focus my shot, focus peaking is super valuable. And along those lines, I am also using focus magnification and using the full display option. I'm not using the picture in picture. I am using the full display. I also do have a function button assigned for waveforms. And then beyond that, I do have my level tool also assigned to a function button so I can turn it on and turn it off just to make sure my shot is level. These are all tools that are going to be invaluable when it comes to just nailing the shot that you're trying to create with the S5 Mark II X. One setting that I'm also using is I am turning on the red record frame indicator. This just creates a red box around your display just to tell you that you're recording so that you never run into a scenario where you're recording and you're actually not recording and completely miss everything. It happens more than you think. And so with that, those are some of the settings that I use for my S5 Mark II X. These are the settings I went in right away and made sure were updated just to know that I'm getting the best quality out of this camera when I go to film with the camera. And so I hope it was helpful for you guys to see some of those settings and the things that I saw as important with the camera, making sure they were updated. And so with that said, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Or I hope it was helpful in some way. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a like. And if you're into the Elmont Alliance, whether it's the Sigma FP, FPL, or Lumix S5 Mark II X, consider subscribing to the channel. As always, thank you for joining. Go and find your journey. Go embrace life. Peace. Ah!